what's up you guys say hello friends uh welcome to another video i'm so excited to do this video this video has been highly requested ever since i even mentioned that we wanted to use clock nappies which was when i was pregnant with zion so during this video i'm going to be taking you through the types of cloth nappies that we use our process or how we use them how much money i spent on the cloth nappies um and whether we're using them full time or not and all of those juicy details so when i was pregnant with zion sim and i decided that we're going to use cloth nappies and when i went to the mama magic expo there was a show special at one of the cloth nappy um suppliers so we decided that we're going to use cloth nappies number one because they're much better for the environment and number two because they are going to save us a ton of money so the initial purchase of the cloth nappies was quite expensive we used or we spent about three thousand rand on cloth nappies um we got about 20 pocket nappies and four night nappies and that was close to 3000 it was like 2800 rand i don't know what the dollar conversion of that is you guys can find that out um and that's a lot of money to fork out but when you do the calculation of how much money you spend on disposables it's way more than 3000 rand i mean the cloth nappies that we have you can use um, from newborn although they do sell the newborn ones until your baby is yeah. out of nappies and so 3,000 Rand on yeah. nappies for basically the lifetime of your baby in nappies is nothing compared to what you would spend if you were using disposables so we use two types of nappies we use pocket nappies and we use all-in-ones i don't have a lot of all-in-ones yet i'm trying to build up um a stash of all-in-ones um so that we can use them full time we don't use cloth nappies full time just yet zion is now five months old he's soon going to be six months old and I would like to get to a stage where we are not using disposables as much. I mean, we use the disposables as night nappies. He pees a lot, you guys. Like, he pees a ton at night. Um, I just don't know why. Um, he has about two night feeds in the yeah. middle of the night. So, we're using those. We haven't used the disposable, I mean, the cloth night nappies just yet. And I will show you what they look like in a second. So currently we're using Pampers Premium disposables as our night nappies. We were using the normal Pampers, but you guys, my child has a lot of issues. He he is just super sensitive to everything and it was giving him a really bad nappy rash. It didn't matter how often we changed his nappies, but the normal, I think they're called Pampers A or air dry something those we actually had to give them away because i bought a whole box at the expo last year and we had to give them away and buy pampers premium so if i were to go back i would have just bought a big box of pampers premiums and use them as night nappies so these are the two types of nappies that we have this is an all-in-one and this is a pocket nappy the all-in-ones, I love them because they're not as bulky as the pocket nappies. So as you can see, these are attached. These two um, flaps. They're made out of um, microfiber and bamboo. So the microfiber part wouldn't go onto baby's bum. It would go at the bottom and then the bamboo part would be on top and then you would close it. Now, this is a pocket nappy. As you can see, it has got a pocket over there with inserts. So uh, what I would do is put Zion over here. Obviously his bottom would go on here. I'd put bum cream on him and then close him up. I store them like this just because they're just easier to grab and go. I don't want to be filling a nappy every time I need a new one. And so when I take him out of it, I take the nappy off like this and then pull 
the pockets out now i use two inserts you don't need to but i suggest like i said zion pees a lot you guys um i suggest you use two today actually i decided to only go with the hemp insert this is a four layer hemp fleece that's inside and see how it goes so that it's not so bulky he's wearing a jumpsuit or a onesie that's a little tight on him and i wanted to see if it would fit otherwise i'd use both inserts like this the hemp on top because i find that when he has made a poo um it's just easier for me to clean the hemp insert of poo than to clean the bamboo so this is a bamboo blend it's got two layers of bamboo and two layers of microfiber and so i take these out and put all of this into the nappy bin i will show you guys the nappy bin right now so for today what i've done is i've i'm using a pocket nappy and i've just put the hemp fleece on to see if it will work if it leaks i'm not sure now another thing is i did mention that you can use these from newborn until they are out of nappies um, but they do sell newborn nappies we didn't use the newborn nappies the cloth nappies we used newborn disposables until he was three months we were using disposables and now we use cloth nappies during the day and disposables at night time so like i said we use 10 nappies a day and um we use about Mm, five of each so five uh, cloth five disposables in a night or even three disposables so how you would do that is this comes apart as you can see they've got snaps everywhere so these three snaps need to go down and be over there sorry he's moaning and be over there so he's on the smallest fit right now and then when he gets bigger i would put these over here and it would make it longer and then eventually when he's big i wouldn't close him at all and then you take the side ones and just close them up like this and there's your nappy you just got to make sure that the gussets these um elastic things are right up in the in in his groin basically so that when he has a poo there are no leaks we've basically had two leaks with these cloth nappies and no leaks at all two poo leaks and no leaks at all when it comes to urine so there's my pocket nappy um it's got two inserts in now I have put a bamboo liner on here. It comes in a roll of like a hundred pieces like this. It's flushable, which is great. So if there's a poo, all I have to do is pick this up, throw it in the toilet or throw it in the bin. Right now he's not on solid, so his poo is still liquid, basically. Um, I know you're supposed to use bamboo liners when they're on solids, but for me, I, I still feel like it catches a lot of the poo and I don't have to work as hard or wash the nappy as hectically. So now in terms of bum cream, we don't use the usual ones like the Panthen or Pseudo Creme. We do keep a big tub of Pseudo Creme to use on the disposables just because Pseudo Creme is cheaper than the organic bum creams. And, you know, we use the organic bum creams for the cloth nappies only. So this is currently the one that we're using i don't know if you can see it it's from Oleaf, and it's made out of olive and it's got some lavender beeswax um and some other oils in it i like it other one that we use is the spum cream from pure beginnings this is the one that I got the most of. I got like six of these at the expo and we still have two left. I bought the Oleaf one, this one, just to try it out because I've been seeing it on Instagram and I wanted to see what the fuss is about. Really, it is nice, smells good. It helps to keep his bum nice and smooth, but so does the Pure Beginnings one. The Pure Beginnings one smells really nice. It's got tea tree oil in it. Um, 
and has a nice texture as well. Um, now, wet wipes. We use normal wet wipes, these ones. Unfortunately, we don't use the reusable wipes. I know this is not good for the environment, but we are doing our part, you guys, by using cloth nappies. Um, we did buy these reusable wipes with my stash of um, just I mean reusable nappies at the expo but what we use these reusable wipes for is to put on his private parts <laughs> when we are changing him so that he doesn't pee on us um he's gotten so clever like I don't know if this is clever or if it's just naughty or whatever but when I put this on him he likes to grab it now and I'm like no boy this is so that you don't wee on mommy but anyways, we do have about five of these. They, I think we need to replace them. But I'll just get some small face cloths that I've, I've seen at Discam. We've got some right now. No, you can't eat mommy's hand. Um, we've got some right now and that's what we're going to be using them for. But otherwise, we just use the normal, like I said, the wet wipes. Um, the nice thing about it is that... I don't have to use that many wet like especially if it's a pee nappy i don't have to use that many wet wipes because of the type of balm cream that we use it wipes off just so nicely i don't have to scrub i like pseudo cream i like pseudo cream but you have to like really put some elbow grease in it you know to get it off now in terms of when we are out we haven't been out because hashtag covid uh, yes we haven't gone anywhere boy um but when we go to like the doctor or i recently had a meeting with a friend now that we're in level two i sometimes it depends on where we will go like for example i'll, I'll go to the, my brother's place um and depending on how long we stay there i will decide whether i use disposables or whether i use um reusables but right now I've been taking both really. I'll take about five disposables or reusables and just put them in our nappy bag. Um, the only thing about reusables is that because they're so bulky, they fill up quite a lot of space in the nappy bag. But we don't really put anything much else in this nappy bag. Maybe I should do a video of what's inside my nappy bag. Um, but when we do change him, th there is a changing mat obviously in the nappy bag and then we have this wet bag It's like this. It's got two compartments this top one and then a middle one that No, you can't have it um, That you put your dirty nappies in here even if it's a poo nappy it will go in here if you are out somewhere and he has a poo nappy if we're out somewhere and he, he's got a poo nappy i'm sure that there are places you can dump your um your what do you call it your bamboo liner and just put the nappy inside the bag that's the whole point of it is that we're not trying to be dumping nappies everywhere like disposable nappies into bins they're going to land up in a landfill somewhere probably in the ocean um and just take your nappy home with you and wash it that's i'm sure a question that i'll get is well, how do you wash the poo nappies take the bamboo liner off put it in the bin or put it in the toilet and just rinse it with cold water and when it's nappy laundry day <laughs> when it's nappy laundry day we put it into the wash as we normally would we do our nappy laundry every second or third day depending on how many nappies he's gone through some days he goes through more nappies than other days in general it's about five or four um, reusables a day so let's say every third day we've got a stash of about 26 um it's like 12 nappies every three days and then that's what we do now i'm going to walk you through our laundry process it is not extensive and it's quite easy to add so this is our reusable diaper pail and this is for disposables it's just a washing basket as you can see it cost me about 100 rand at westpac and it's got a, a 
a liner diaper pale liner on it and when it's laundry day i just take it out let me just do this i take it out take this thing out and empty its contents into the washing machine and this liner also goes inside i've got two so that when this one is wet i can replace it with another one inside right now i've only got one nappy which is actually a poopy nappy i just rinsed it put it in here and when it's nappy laundry day i put it in the wash um now when you have a dirty nappy what you would do is like i said this is a pocket nappy that i've got it wouldn't go in like this obviously so what i would do is take these out and all three of these would go in here but this is a clean one so i'm not going to put it in there now in terms of doing the actual laundry this is the detergent that we use aerial baby it's they they do sell a, a specific washing detergent can hear my child screaming um <laughs> they do sell a specific detergent for washing nappies but it's nothing special there is another one specifically that they sell kind of for like a maintenance wash if i can call it that I don't remember what it's called but it's like doing a extra extra clean so you only use detergent when you wash these um, so that it doesn't build a film of fabric softener. Fabric softener makes things, I don't know, if you've felt things that have not been rinsed out of fabric softener, you'll know the feeling I'm talking about. So what you do is you run a rinse cycle first to get the excess urine out and any excess poopies out. And then you would add your detergent, Ariel Baby boom um in and you run a normal wash cycle you do not tumble dry the nappies unless maybe the inserts you can tumble dry but the actual pockets themselves you don't tumble dry them um and then you'd hang them outside we did nappy laundry last night so i'm gonna go outside and show you how we hang them so important note is that the the pockets are being dried facing inside out the fleecy part is facing up and the waterproof part is on the outside um, and they're not being dried in direct sunlight which is important because it affects the waterproof part obviously we're going to be using these for a long time and also if we have other children we can just reuse these and you want to look after your investment like I said it's quite expensive to to have another thing is that they need to be hung this way now if you hang it like this with the peg over here I'm holding Zion that's why I'm using one hand over here you can see that the gusset is just hanging loose there's nothing really supporting it um, which puts pressure on this part the gusset and it's going to ruin your nappy um, so you want to hang it this way especially for the all-in ones where is that all-in one I had the all-in ones as you can see they are quite heavy because of these two flaps so you don't want to hang it just with this one end of the flap hanging off the thing because it's going to be too heavy for this elastic your elastic is going to wear out quickly as for the inserts themselves the inserts can be hung in direct sunlight they are over here this is a bamboo one it can be hung in direct sunlight and if you do have a stain you can um, sun bleach them I haven't had to sun bleach anything yet but I do know that some of my all-in-ones do need sun um, sun bleaching and yeah that's what it looks like and like I said you can tumble dry them but we don't have a tumble dryer so the Sun is just as good it sounds complicated in terms of looking after your cloth nappies but it really isn't once you start using them it's super simple to use and you will thank yourself and your bank account is going to thank you too for not having to buy nappies every week now i want to show you where i store them and i also want to show you the night nappy we haven't used the night nappy yet i want to use it in summer because it's very bulky you guys it is boy 
I'm gonna wear it in summer. I want to use it in summer because it's bulky and in summer it gets really hot here. So Zion will probably sleep in only a nappy, the night nappy, and maybe a summer sleep sack. So this is in Zion's room and this is where we store his cloth nappies. Um, it's in his compactum as you can see they're all over there and then here is the night nappy I wanted to show you over here is obviously where we put the other ones that are on the line I've got a little backup bamboo liner and on this side is the this or the reusable the reusable wet wipes these are actually just face cloths that we're going to use as reusable wet wipes and then um, towards the back there I've got um, some more bum cream um, it's just easier this way I work in a very methodical way like if you can see if you can see this way first in first out so that each nappy gets enough time in the washing machine and we're not using the same nappies all the time we've got some solids um, solid colors and then we got some prints over here. The prints were a little bit more pricey, but they're cute um, There's one and there's Another little one if we ever have a girl They unfortunately gonna have to use Zion's old nappies um, And I mean This is a gender-neutral color I'd say and this is also a gender-neutral print even this one even this one so it is what it is i'm gonna go and show you this night nappy now so this is the night nappy it has a shell these shells you don't wash them you just give them a wipe down what i would do is probably give them a wipe down with some soapy water and then with some um sanitizer doesn't go in the wash and then just leave it to dry air dry and this is the entire nappy itself as you can see it is quite thick I think they're working off the premise that you are not changing nappies at night I'm just looking back to see if it hasn't toppled <laughs> um, you're not changing nappies at night and it's got basically two these are two layers of hemp fleece and then it's got a bamboo layer and then it's got this that goes inside the shell. We want to use it in the summertime, like I said, when the months or the days are a little bit warmer and he'll be sleeping in maybe a t-shirt and no pants. Um, no, you can't have that. And then, yeah, that's it. That is our cloth napping journey. So just to recap, we started using cloth nappies at three months old. We bought a stash of 20 nappies. Um, I already had two all-in-ones and I've got two more all-in-ones so you've got 24 cloth nappies in total we do nappy laundry every second or third day um, when you're hanging your nappies hang them facing inside out and don't hang them in direct sunlight they dry quickly you can um, tumble dry the inserts but do not tumble dry the actual shells um, you can use an, a night nappy, but we're currently not using one. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and thanks to Zion for behaving himself. <laughs> Although he was screaming some of the time, but it is what it is. That's what you get when you're watching a motherhood channel. Um, thanks for getting me to 13,000 subscribers. Please like this video and share it with another mama. Um, if you're an expecting mom, maybe consider getting a small stash of um reusables if you're not too sure of cloth nappies the um, cloth nappies i use are from biddykins just by the way and they do have they do sell them in fives so maybe you can start with buying five and see if you like them but i promise you there's nothing you're not going to like about them especially the part about saving moolah um <laughs> that's all that's all for today you guys <laughs> catch you guys next week again and by the way i started a new channel for my baking stuff i'm gonna leave it in the description box below please subscribe to that channel thank you for subscribing to this channel and liking this video see you in the next video bye